Oh, this place ought to be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Chapter 3. We're in now. A few days later. Alrighty. Guess we'll come over here and talk to Dutch. So uh, the only mission we haven't been in the town yet. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. Okay. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Probably is. Camp's nice and set up as well now. I don't know where 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 our bit is anymore. I'll have to find it again. I'm always over here. I think this is more open, this one as well, this camp. It's a little bit more roomy. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Hey, boy. Alright, let's go. Really want to buy like some new clothes and stuff like that as well. So next time we're in town, I think that's what we'll do. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh. It was us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still... We do need money, so keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine 
What a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. All right. Hold. Huh. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And yeah, do I'm not, not shoot them, do. you hear me? Come on, hurry! You got it. All right. Come on, we're losing them. We'll no, we're not. relax, we're not losing them. Come on. What do you think I'm What's doing? What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You lost. Must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Get to the side. Get alongside that flat carriage. Got it. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Now he's throwing bombs. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. I lose my hat. I want to be well pissed. Let's keep going. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. What do you think I'm doing? Where you Come on, shit bag. Go, get after them. I'm trying. Can't do 
bring it. Try at least. Just don't kill it. Are you sure? Sadly so. Watch yourself. He's as dirty as they come. Come on. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Just a barrel. <laughs> yeah, he took a shot out of the jaw, but pick him up. Bring him out here, deputy. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. For what now? Take him in. Come on. All right. Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Where did you get your there horse you from? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed nope. right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. <laughs> this ain't my trouble to have. We're gonna bear left here. All right. Hopefully we'll have some bounties come out of this area as well. Um, we've got a few of the awful good stuff. Uh, so Dutch has asked the gang uh, to not use weapons or cause trouble in the roads. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to do. Not cause much trouble, hopefully. I think we do by the time we leave again, but hey ho. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very okay. reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Hey. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Well, very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, 
These better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and the Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and them falling out of the rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's all. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. <laughs> I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, except fishing or... Sure, why not? Arthur? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Hopefully. Go for our horses to come, and we'll go do a bit of fishing. Gentlemen, follow me. What? Oh. I can't yeah. say I approve of this shirking behavior. So, so how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Say Timbuk too? Not too much farther. <laughs> anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. So, you're going Easy. back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. 
He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Yep, hiding in plain sight sounds really good, actually. Can't remember how long it lasts, though. Hopefully we can do some bounties as well. Sounds like there's a few of those kicking about. Also get rid of the bounties on us as well. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I remember doing this last time. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. As long as we return it. <laughs> All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Huh? Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb <laughs> for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. There's a thick ride in the horse. Which is good. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old work? Um... Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Slowly wheeling it in. Arthur's got a bite. You hooked him. Okay, that was a bite. There he is. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth um. of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. I would like to see that. Not bad, Arthur. Ha! Got ya! Ah, um, I should have had that one. one. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't <laughs> think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. 
He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember <laughs> now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. I used That's to go fishing with this fella ounces. back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing. That one's a bit bigger. And we see a funeral procession going over Keep the bridge, out. and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Nice, you hooked him. I got a bite. There we go. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had That's a banquet quite planned fun. that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. That's on the hook, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. There we go. Four pounds, three ounces, and eh, we're gonna throw that one Holding back. Holding for a bigger one, are you? Hell yeah. I've already got one of those. Slowly reel it in. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm not sure how much so longer we're going to do this for. Now reel them in, Arthur. Something's nibbling. They're Got not one. actually talking that much anymore, which is a little sad. I'll wrestle with it here a little bit. That's tiny. But he's just caught. And he's keeping everyone he grabs as well. You're getting the hang of this. See how big it is. Uh, four, three. Ah, uh, throw back. So kind, Arthur. There's one way to get our... Um, 
one way to get our like honor up. Um, we'll continue this for a little while longer. Maybe just catch a couple more. Then we'll uh, we'll probably put it all away. They're not really talking much anymore, so I will talk a little bit, I guess. I'm also just keeping a an eye on what the time is as well for the video. Alright, let's cast again. I guess there's one uh, chill way of um, getting on her and you got catching fish. Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. It doesn't look like we're getting above like um, many big fish. We seem to be getting the biggest ones, but she doesn't seem to be getting much. There you go. That's a nice one. Looks fairly small. Or four. Okay, I think that's actually the biggest one we've got. Um. Now we'll throw it back. Very sporting of you. Probably do one more. I think we'll call it. I think. There we go. Get this in fairly quickly. See it? Nicely done, Arthur. How big is this one? Or three. Now nah, we'll throw it back. See, you don't kill everything. Um, one more. One more. We could do this all day. <laughs> it's actually quite chill. Um, I don't really like fishing in real life, but like fishing in video games is actually it's somewhat like therapeutic. <laughs> I know it's probably not Got great watching there, for you guys. But we're not going to be doing much more. We'll do this one and then we're going to call it. Go do something else. Reel her in. Go. Well done. Four five. Uh, sure, we'll keep that Worth one. Worth keeping that one. Right, that's it. I am done with fishing. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All Where right. Did we go? Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. 
Ich das auch. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. We Mariners. Ha! Ah, of course! Well, we three poor Mariners do we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Songs out that bad in this game, I Do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy come flash me on this ground of 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 ground bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back to camp. It's not too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here. I, I think, well, the boat we were just borrowing, we've now stolen. All right. At least we've got a boat I think. now. All right. But I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Yeah, I think I'm going to do probably the same with that uh, with mine. We've got like a couple of missions kicking around camp here as well. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a. Just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan?